Hey everybody, this is GliderCat and it's time to play. Today we're going to take a first look at a recent released factory automation game called Total Factory. Total Factory is being developed by an indie developer and it recently went into full release on Steam uh, just here on September 28th, 2022. Now I first featured Total Factory in one of my top upcoming games videos a few months ago, but I've actually been following the game for several months now and well before that uh, top upcoming games video. In this first look video, we'll look at the official game trailer, then take a look at some of the actual gameplay and discover what Total Factory is all about. Before we get to that trailer though, I need to quickly thank GliderCat patrons and channel members. Their support is what makes this content possible and I deeply appreciate it. Thank you, channel supporters, sincerely. Uh, the GliderCat channel is still pretty small, so I rely on the support of viewers to keep it afloat. So, if you enjoy learning about cool new games like Total Factory, and find yourself enjoying content on the GliderCat channel, then please consider becoming a channel supporter yourself to join the highly valued group of individuals that are helping me keep the channel going and giving it a chance to grow. All right, now let's check the game trailer for Total Factory, and then we'll come back and talk more about it. Here we go with that trailer. All right, so that was the trailer for Total Factory, and in it we saw lots and lots of conveyor belts, several different production buildings, and then we also saw some mechs or robots fighting it out. But there's a lot more to the game than what we saw there. The Steam description says, You are a robot with unrealistically advanced artificial intelligence on a previously unknown planet. People created you for one single purpose, to ensure the automatic production of the necessary resources and their dispatch. It would seem that what could go wrong? That's the Steam description, short and sweet. It sounds like an automation game. Now, I've been playing Total Factory for several hours now, and I'm really enjoying it. So what is this game all about? Well, as you saw, you play as a mech, and the game plays loosely like Satisfactory in the sense that you're given a set of objectives, each of which involve producing a specific quantity of certain items, and then beaming those items up to headquarters. It's, it's a lot like feeding the space elevator in Satisfactory, if you're familiar with that game. As in Satisfactory, as you complete the objectives from one tier and move on to the next one, you'll be challenged with having to produce ever more complex products and beaming those back to headquarters in ever higher quantities. So all very similar, at least that aspect of the game is very similar to Satisfactory, I think. As you play, the game has you work through a total of eight different tiers. Now, in the beginning of the game, there are tutorial messages and hints that pop up, and they do a great job of getting you up to speed with how to play and how to work the interface and the controls. However, if you're already familiar with the game, or you dislike the pop-ups, because sometimes tutorials can get annoying, uh, you can easily disable the messages at any time. I think every pop-up gives you the option to turn off all future messages, so that is super nice if you're not a fan of those kind of somewhat intrusive pop-up messages. I found them just fine, but I know some people don't like them. Also, the first couple of hours that you're going to be playing, you'll be working through um, a couple of tiers that aren't very difficult, but I do think they're perfect for learning the ropes. So the materials you need to supply to your hub, which is kind of like that space elevator, they're not hard to create and manufacture. But once you get past the second tier, things do kind of ramp up 
uh, quite a bit more and your factory is going to get a little more involved. Now there's a large number of machines and products in the game all told total factory includes over 150 different items uh, that includes six different types of ore that you can mine, refine and turn into more advanced products. Now the ore deposit themselves, the ones I've seen so far are not infinite. So you'll need to locate new deposits across the map as you exhaust them. I found that the ones uh, in your starting area tend to be smaller deposits. And then as you go out, uh, they do get to be uh, more substantial deposits that you can mine for a longer period of time and get more ore out of. Now the maps also are randomly generated, by the way. So I've played a couple times so far and the maps were very, very different uh, in each playthrough. So that kind of helps with the replayability. Total Factory also has enemies, and as you set out to build and expand your factory, you'll be faced with fending off hostile mechs, which roam the map and will attack both you and your base. Now, these enemy mechs are a constant threat, and they come in a couple of varieties. At least I've seen two so far. There may be more, but I'm aware of two varieties. One type of enemy mech that I particularly like is known as the Thief. Now, these little buggers can sneak past your defenses, get into your factory, and then they start stealing items from your machines and other storage containers. Now, fortunately, they only steal a little and then they run back to their base, but they are a constant nuisance. So you got to be um, on the lookout for them. They're, the game will alert you that uh, you're being robbed so you can go chase after them. Now, if you do track them down and kill them, you can retrieve the goods that they've stolen from you. So that's kind of nice. In fact, enemy, any enemy mech or structure that you destroy in the game will drop some valuable loot. And as far as I know, that loot doesn't despawn, so there's no rush to go get it, uh, which is kind of nice. But uh, yeah, having the loot drops makes those battles more rewarding, I find. I know some people prefer not to have enemies in these kind of games. Uh, I don't mind them myself, but uh, unfortunately, I don't think there's an option to turn them off, at least not yet uh, in Total Factory. You might... Uh, just, if you're one of those people who doesn't prefer enemies, you might hop on the Discord and request that feature. Uh, maybe it's in the works. I don't really know. Um, but as far as I know, the enemies are kind of a big part of the game, and I don't think you can turn those off. Now, you protect your factory by deploying defensive turrets along with your own set of mechs that will patrol within a given range and engage any enemy mechs that they find. That includes the thief mechs, so your own mechs will scan around looking for enemies, and then if they find one, they will engage and take the battle to those enemies. You can also build and deploy engineer mechs that will automatically repair parts of your base or parts of you that have been damaged. After all, you are a mech and you do take damage when you engage the enemy. Uh, so these little engineer mechs that you deploy, you walk up next to them and they will repair you. As is often the case, the best defense may be a strong offense. So you can also take the fight directly to your enemy and set out to destroy their spawn points that you'll see around your factory, kind of on the outskirts and across the map. Uh, but if you do, be aware that your enemy can deploy mortars, which deal huge damage and they're a major threat. So it takes a bit of skill to learn how best to take them out. Now, they have a couple hits from a mortar and you're, you're pretty much, it seems like you're pretty much done. That may be a game balancing issue. I think it's pretty fun. Well, you'll see that uh, if you watch the, uh, the Let's Play that I'm going to post shortly after this video. We'll talk more about that later. Now, the factory that I'm building in my current playthrough is still pretty small since I'm just getting started. But as we saw in the trailer, your factory can grow pretty large with remote mining outposts feeding into a central factory or whatever design you choose. Just keep in mind that with those um, objectives, like the hub objectives, kind of like Satisfactory, you're going to need to supply uh, resources into this one central building, which is your hub. Now, the map, while not infinite, it's plenty large to build out your factory in whichever way you prefer. The map is unique. It's presented in a series of tiles. So I believe it's a four by four map. Um, where each tile, I don't know how much, how much space it represents, but they're, they're pretty, they're pretty good size, but you'll move from one tile to the next. So just, just keep that in mind. So hopefully that gives you a brief overview of what Total Factory is all about. Um, prior to releasing on Steam, Total Factory was available on itch.io or itch.io, and it kind of went through an early access period uh, for several months on that platform. Uh, that happens to be where I first discovered the game and it's still available for sale there. If you want to pick it up on itch.io, that's kind of a, it's actually kind of a cool platform and it's, and it's a super resource for indies. So I'm kind of fond of itch.io. 
but Steam is super convenient as well. Uh, while I'm at it, I should take a moment to thank the developer for granting my request for a press key. I knew at first glance that Total Factory was a game I was going to be very interested in, and it has not disappointed. Now, as I mentioned at the top, Total Factory is now a fully released game. It's not early access. That said, the developer's been putting out updates at a very high frequency for several months now. If you go on Steam and look at the news updates, you can just see the uh, the frequency of updates that, he, that he's putting out. Now, it's clear to me that he's passionate about the game and is working tirelessly to make it great. I'm super impressed when I see developers quickly putting out fixes, quickly putting out updates, especially after a game hits full release. In fact, he's pushed out a fix to one small issue I discovered while I was playing within 30 minutes of me reporting it to him. So that's pretty cool. Again, there's links in the description to the Steam page and Discord for Total Factory. Um, if you choose to pick up the game, I think you'll have no problem getting helpful information and support from the developer. That's what I've found. Uh, the Discord is still pretty small. The game is not widespread known yet. Hopefully this video will help help change that a bit and get more people playing. So yeah, I think that wraps up this first look at Total Factory. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know what you think of the game in the comments below. I'm interested to hear your first impressions. Now, I can't cover everything about the game in this short first look. So if you want to see more of the actual gameplay, come join me as I play. I'll be posting a Let's Play series of my current playthrough to the GladderCat channel a day or two after this first look video posts. Also, if you enjoy learning about cool, new, and upcoming games just like Total Factory, do yourself a favor and browse the list of games in my first look playlist. I'll put a link to that in the description along with the other links. It's loaded with cool games that I think you'll enjoy. Again, I'm talking about the first look playlist on the GliderCat channel. Loaded. Lastly, if you'd like to help support the GliderCat channel so I can continue to bring you videos just like this one, I'd be grateful. And you can find links to do that in the description as well, or you can simply choose to click that thanks button. Uh, any help would be greatly appreciated. For now, though, this is GliderCat saying thanks so much for watching. I really mean it. And I'll see you in the next one.